Welcome to week five, people. Uh, who who knew it would go this quick? I told you this class moves by quick. So we're more than halfway through the class. Just started, but here we are. So what is important about week five? Hmm. Anything different and unusual about week five? Definition assignments. Film reflections. Really cool, interesting, riveting video lectures. Uh, let's see, instructions, video tutorial. Oh, you know what? I remember now. I remember now. Perhaps some of you don't want to know this, but it's the, it's the fact. Week five, midterm exams. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay. Anyway, midterm exams, here we are, week five. So, like I said, it sneaks up. Okay, week five, midterm exams, the week of May 4th. So, the midterm exam is going to be open for 72 hours. So, essentially, in a 16 week class, I we take a week for the midterm. Uh, we have a we have a midterm review on the first day of the of the class, and then the second class of that week we have our midterm. Uh, we're doing the same thing here, but in this class one week is two weeks. So the first week is the midterm exam, and that's going to be open Monday, uh, May fourth. It'll open at midnight, so that means as Sunday night turns into Monday midnight, it opens. So Monday morning at four in the morning is there if you want to get out of bed because you can't wait to take it. I, I get it. Uh, it'll be open from Monday, May 4th at midnight until May 6th, Wednesday until midnight. So 72 hours, it's open. OK, and don't and there's of course two parts to this. Uh, part one is the multiple choice, 40 questions, 40 minutes. Uh, part two are the essay questions based on three supplemental lectures of your choosing. Again, we've done eight of them. The exam will be reduced to six. You then choose three of your choice to write about. Uh, you have 60 minutes to do those, not not 20 minutes each, 60 minutes in, in, in entirety to do three, okay? Uh, so I'm going to reiterate about supplemental lectures only because this seems to be the stumbling block for many of you. Uh, well, not many of you, but many in the past anyway. Um, uh, for some reason, this is the this is the 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 part where people don't read the instructions. And I you know I can see how many views I get on these videos, these welcome videos. I, I don't get very many, less than less than ten probably in a in a forty something forty plus uh, you know uh, students in this class. Uh, the uh, Video, the uh, chapter lectures, videos, um, tutorials, whatever, uh, same thing. So people aren't watching the chapter lectures. People aren't listening to these welcomes where I'm trying to tell you what's going on. I don't know what, what to say. If, if people aren't going to do that, I, I can't really, um, you know, it's kind of on you. Now, I don't mean you because you're here. And if you are one of those people that haven't done that, that you don't understand supplemental lectures and how important they are, please go back to the instructions, uh, uh, week one, module, uh, mo modules week one, I'll get it, scroll down to resources, read what, that, what they are, okay? I also do a video tutorial about what is a supplemental lecture, so they're important. They're not difficult. They're, they don't require any any amazing skill or feats of strength. They just are perhaps a little different than a typical assignment in the fact that they're a review. And people get get you know worked up about that. This is a much much simpler assignment than a research paper. It's just simply a review. If I say it, tell me. If I don't say it, don't tell me. Don't add to it. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, I know I'm repeating myself over and over here about the supplemental lectures, but I've been doing this for a while, and I'm always um, a little bit concerned how many people don't understand and don't do don't do well. Uh, now you haven't even had the test yet, so maybe I'm judging uh, harshly prematurely. I, uh, you know, all I can say is my I'm telling you because of of the past. I've always been a little bit concerned. You know, why don't why do do so many and i don't mean a majority but i mentioned before, the majority you would probably will probably do very, very just fine uh but my history has been 
there's that word history. My history has been that this is where the people stumble. And I don't mean, you know, half, I mean, typically less than you know, maybe 10% or, you know, um, whatever, more than a handful, though, more than I'd like, you know, one or two or three is going to always happen. But, uh, you know, six, seven or eight, that's, that concerns me. But then I have to go, okay, am I, am I not being clear? And I look at the instructions, it seems clear. And then, of course, most of you write, write fine. So the instructions must be clear. So I'm just giving you a tip, you know, uh, uh, for the midterm, focus on that and make sure you have that in order. Uh, it's real simple, a review, write an intro, tell me about the main points as given in the outline, but fill in the fill in the details. Don't just say this happened, that happened. Okay, this happened, here's what happened. This happened, don't just, sometimes I get some people write, write the outline over. That's not not doing the, the assignment either. So understand intro, main points, elaborate about the main points, give me the relevance as given to you from me in that lecture. And it's perfectly okay to put relevance and underline it and do it word for word. That's okay. You want you want it to be clear to me that you got the relevance as given given uh, to you by me. Uh, we're we're not on a boat, by the way, but I am on a on a on a on a cushion that, that every time I move it does that. So uh, maybe we should take drama mean before we listen to these videos. I don't know. Anyway, um, okay. One other thing uh, regarding. Uh, instruction moving forward. So as we know, summer has been converted 100% online. So there's still discussion about what's going to happen for the fall, fall 2020. Now I work at three campuses, so the information is slightly different, but typically what one does the other, what, you know, everyone's going to do the same thing. There goes that, there goes that boat again. Um, so, um, this is not in stone, but this is just, you know, the, 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 the feedback that I'm getting. Right now, there has not been a decision made about fall 2020, although they are probably leaning. So that's not a decision, but they're leaning towards having it be online also. Uh, there's a chance that classes that, that don't need to be held in a classroom, like history class, will be online. But classes like biology and anatomy that require, you know, a or chemistry that require a lab. If you're a if you're a science major, you 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 can't get through a degree without labs. You got to learn, you know, how to be, become comfortable in a lab. You can't do that online. So those classes may be held on the campus, but classes like this probably not. So potentially, I'm kind of preparing for fall for, for my classes history uh being online okay so uh that means i won't be back in the classroom until potentially february of 2021 wow that's that's almost hard for me to even imagine um okay anyway so so summer for sure online uh uh fall no decision yet they're leaning towards online i have a feeling and the and the discussion is that Classes that, that don't need to be held in on campus will be online. Of course, if there's a miraculous recovery, that could all change. Um, but that seems to be the way uh, the way it, it looks like it's going. Okay. Um, okay. There is. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Uh, good luck on your midterms. Uh, you have three days to do them. Again, part one, part two. Uh, you can you can do part one on Monday morning. Once you start it, you got to finish it and then do part three, part three, part two, anytime you like inside that 72 hours. You don't have to do them back to back if you don't want to. Of course, you can if you want to. But the point is, once you start part one or, or part two, you must complete. It's a forced completion. If you don't complete it and you back out, that's that's it. You're, that, that's the only shot you have. So don't don't make that mistake. But you can start either one anytime in that 72-hour period, okay? Okay, have a great week. I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your family are, are surviving the, the virus and our new, uh, you know, lifestyle out there. Um, if you have any questions or problems, uh, please let me know. Thanks. Take care, guys.